And welcome back, Askey here with another guide for Banjo-Kazooie. Today we'll be collecting the final Jinjos in our complete Jinjo series. This, of course, is Click Clock Wood. This will be the first walkthrough video we've done since the Music Note Guide where we get to visit all four seasons, so be ready for that. In my save file here, I have already gone ahead and unlocked all of the seasons. If you haven't yet done that, you can hit the switches as we go. Uh, we will be visiting these seasons in order. So first up, I'm doing some backflips here, kind of taking a shortcut. This is kind of the more difficult way to get over to Mumbo's Hut, which is going to be our first stop. Um, jumping on those those little tiny leaf buds is kind of difficult. It is doable. But um, yeah, late, later on, of course, in later seasons, those are going to grow into full-size leaves, and, and then it's not so difficult. But uh, if you have to, you can go around the long way, go around the, the opposite way around the tree. But in any case, we will be turning into the B form in this video as I take another swipe at Mumbo there. So make sure you bring in at least 25 Mumbo tokens if you haven't made the transformation already. But yes, our first stop is going to be the Beehive, which you can access in springtime, but only with the Bee form. So we're going to fly on up here, and it's yeah just outside Mumbo's hut there as I fly into a tree. Flying with the B form, of course, is a little bit different than flying with Banjo and Kazooie. I mean, it's similar, but it does feel slightly different. But you probably already knew that. Alrighty, into the beehive we go. In summer and fall, of course, you can come into the beehive as Banjo and Kazooie. In summer, you come in here to get this uh, jiggy right here. In fall, we come in here for a few music notes. We saw that in the music note guide. But this time, hello, Jinjo. How you doing? It's going to be our final pink Jinjo of the series. <laughs> I, can, I can start saying things like that now. Anyway, then we're going to head back outside. Um, this next Jinjo is still in springtime. Uh, you don't necessarily need the B form for this, but since we were already in the B form, and you can get it with the B form, we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, in my footage here, it's kind of funny. I didn't really know where on the tree this one was. It's actually right above the beehive, so I didn't need to do that lap around the tree. I did enjoy it, though. So you can you can just hop out of the uh, the beehive and just fly straight up, and the green one's right there. And that's actually going to do it for springtime. Now the bee form is unavailable in the other seasons. You can only be the bee in uh, springtime, without glitches at least. Uh, now I'm not going to head back over to Mumbo's hut to turn back into Banjo Kazooie. If you just enter any of the other seasons and take a few steps forward in through the, the little tunnel there, the little entrance of each season, you'll be forced to turn back into Banjo Kazooie. So we'll save some time doing that, and we'll head into summer now. So this next Jinjo here is, I think, kind of brutal. <laughs> it's not difficult to get; it's just really difficult to spot. Um, it's actually going to be right in here as as Mumbo's magic wears off. That's what I was just talking about. Uh, but yeah, the uh, yellow one over here is right over here, just to the left of the entrance. And it's the, <laughs> you can see, you barely see his little ears there. You can kind of see him moving. So uh, yeah, I, yeah, if, if that was like any other color, that would have been uh, much easier to see. But since he basically is the same color as the grass, that's kind of a, a difficult one to spot. I think if... People were joining us for this video to, you know, they're missing one Jinjo. Any one Jinjo would probably be that one. Anyway, though, done with summer now. Gonna head into fall. This one's pretty easy. We'll be able to use these big old piles of leaves here to get around the tree this time. Although I, I probably should have gone around the opposite direction because I'm totally gonna fall right here. <laughs> you can make that jump, um, but not when you get thrown off by a bird. Anyway though, the Jinjo is going to be over here on top of this, one of these piles of leaves over here near the flower garden. So yeah, that guy, I mean, obviously pretty easy to collect, but you know, since it's kind of up out of your natural line of sight, maybe you might miss that one. And those, those piles of leaves aren't in any other season, so maybe you're not quite used to checking the tops of those. So that was the only Jinjo in autumn. So now we'll be heading back yet again to the hub world to enter the final season and collect the final Jinjo in wintertime. And as we wait a few seconds here for past me to reach the final area, I want to thank everybody for checking out the video. Whether you're just watching this one walkthrough or reaching the end of the entire Jinjo series, I do appreciate you hanging out. I hope you learned something. 
And if you did, or you just enjoyed it, please consider leaving the video a like, or subscribing to the channel. It requires very little effort on your end, but does help my channel grow. And for those of you who already have, thank you very much, I really appreciate that. Anyway though, we're on the final stretch, winter time now. This one's real easy. We're just gonna head on over here to the left-hand side of the level. There's gonna be a flight pad here. And we're just gonna fly up on top of Mumbo's hut. And the little blue Jinjo, he's hanging out there. And I, I totally messed this part up. I didn't want to land on the Jinjo, so I, I used the uh, ground pound a little bit early and almost slipped off there, but we were able to get back up. And there it is, the final Jinjo in the entire Jinjo series. Now, as far as I know, you don't actually need the flight pad in order to get on top of any of Mumbo's huts. I believe you can reach the, the top of it just by doing backflips. But I'll be honest, I've never actually tried that because the flight pad's right there and I've, I've never gotten to Click Lock Wood without the flight pads unlocked. I'd, I'd actually have to stop and think about if that's even possible. Anyway, though, that's going to do it for our Jinjo guide on Click Clock Wood, and this is going to mark the end of the entire series. It's normally right about now that I'd be mentioning which level's coming up next, but of course there isn't one. So I'll just say that I do hope you stay tuned for another series of walkthroughs coming up here in the near future. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.